Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd If we want to rectify our condition As it is no mystery, ayyuh ahabba, the suffering and pain that we feel as a community. That's no mystery to any Muslim that's living today. Any believer in Allah and follower of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To see and witness the slaughter that's happening in Syria, the oppression that comes from the wrath of the Shia upon Ahl Sunnah in Yemen and in Iran itself. The difficulty Ahl Sunnah faces in places like Ethiopia from the Ahbash, Jamaat al Ahbash, and those other sects that have went astray from the Sibila Mu'mineen. They went away from the Sibila Mu'mineen, the, the path of the believers. Because the path of the believers is comprised of the Quran and the Sunnah and the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah, the way of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, that we take our, our, our creed from the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we take our understanding of Islam and our methodology and our da'wah and our way and our path from the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in and in a beautiful statement by Imam Malik in which he said and I'm paraphrasing la yaslahu akhra hadhi ummah illa bima salaha awalaha o kama qaal Imam Malik he said that this ummah, this community of Muslims, of believers, will not be rectified except with that which rectified the original community. Meaning that we have to follow the way of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een if we want rectification in our affairs. That we have to follow the minhaj of the Salaf. I know many people are scared of that. They're scared of the term Salaf and Salafi. But it is an obligation upon us as Muslims to follow the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Have a wajib alayna. We have to. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرُ النَّاسِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the best people is my generation. Then those who follow them, then those who follow them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, عَلَيْكَمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءَ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِينَ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's upon you, my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the Ummah would break up into groups and sects. And he said that their prescription, the ones who will be saved from all that fitna, from all the divisions, from all the racism, from all the prejudice, from all the blind following, from all the holding on to what this Shaykh says no matter if it goes against the evidence of the Quran and the Sunnah and the Ijma of the Ummah following this fatwa no matter what, what, how it deviates us from Kitab or Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf the only way we can survive those harms and fitna that we face today is by coming back to the Quran, back to the Sunnah and following the myth of the Salaf and the Prophet Sallallahu said After explaining that we would divide and mentioning those who will be saved, he said, Mm-hmm. 
Met Kana Ali Mithli with my Kana Ali Weshabi. Whoever is upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon, then those will be the safe sect. Those will be the ones who are saved from the fire. And may Allah bless us to be of those who are saved from the fire. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.